Team, this is Rob. I have a cool new toy to share with you that can make your life easier and save you some money. So, worked with Loctec on the development of the Loctec Quick Set Smart Key Decoder. And it has proven to be a fantastic tool for us. Loctec has done a fantastic job of making it absolutely do what it's supposed to do, which is determine the cuts of a key when they are unknown for a quick set smart key lock. But the problem has been if we don't have a key cutter at the door, we have to go back and forth to our truck and do that. And the most common cutters can be very expensive, such as the A1 Pack-A-Punch is almost impossible to find now. And the other cutters can range between $800 and over $1,000. So we wanted to come up with a simpler solution to that. So I worked with my good friend Bill at Clipper Key. And what he has developed is a very simple solution, which is to use a aluminum key, very lightweight, that is engraved with the cuts, spacing and depth, engraved onto the key so that we can easily cut our key right at the door at a extreme minimum of expense. So in order to accomplish that, we're using a set of original leashy key cutters or key nibblers that are available routinely from multiple sources on the internet for between $30 and $50. Uh, this set we actually purchased on eBay, but it did take some time to get them. We've encouraged a number of distributors to look at carrying these so that we can get them stateside, hopefully at a reasonable price. So, and today what we want to do is we want to cover that. So first thing is we have to determine our cuts. In the real world, we would use a quick set lock tech smart key decoder to determine our cuts. Today, fortunately, we have a working key. So we'll know what we are working from. So the cuts of this key are one, three, four, five, one. And so we're gonna to try to cut those cuts onto our key here. So I have only practiced this twice. There are my first two results. So I'm being honest about my practice effect. It's not my absolute first time, but it's literally only my third time uh, doing this. So we'll see how we'll see how we do. So first of all, we do not have to worry about a one cut because a one cut is already cut. And we're going to try to zoom in, keep everything as stable as possible here for you. So I'm going to start off on my second position. And speaking to the manufacturers, Bill said the ideal situation is to cut a little bit to the left of the line and then a little bit to the right of the line as you cut. So I'm gonna zoom in even more so you can see even better here. So there we are all the way down to that third line and I'm gonna cut the middle of the line. So I'm gonna put my snip onto it and I can see it cut just to the line. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Turn a little bit so I can actually see that line a little better. There you go. And snip it. There you go. So it cuts very, very easily because of this aluminum key. And then I'm going to cut just to the right of that line. And there we go. So there is my three. Next cut is a four. So we're going to be down one. And again, I'm going to tilt it towards me so we can see a little bit better on the camera. And also, it's helping me cut it. So just to the left of the line with a snip. And then just to the right of the line with a snip. Pretty, pretty good gaps there, but if it weren't perfect, it would still work. My first ones were a little bit more butchered than this. So we're going to take a look at number five. Fourth position, the fifth of five depth. Coming down to that five depth, just to the left of the line, and we're going to go just to the right of the line. All right, we can see at the beginning of our one, if you remember from your impression classes or if you've been trained, you know that we can't leave a hooker like that. That is that big 
flat piece or else when we go to pull it out it will hook onto a pin and trap that key in there which we don't want to do so I'm gonna come up I'm gonna line up the angle of my cutter with the angle below it and I'm just gonna snip it and it, it basically just sort of fell off there and it still has a little piece of it because I kind of went a little bit early and I, I want that to be a smooth Yale angle, a smooth slope on that piece of the key or I could actually just use my file to pick that down a little bit. So with that test is in the pudding. First time works and of course I got it a little bit stuck in because I have that little bit of a hooker on there but that actually knocked that part of that hooker off of there pulling it in and out one time if you do have a lock you open it up and it is trapped in there if because you left too big of a hooker you can flip it upside down use your leashy as an anvil and you can wrap on that lock until you get it to pull out. It may pull out one at a time if your cut were on the very end of it, like it was here, but that is a rescue procedure, which I did have to do on the uh, first cut that I cut because I left a little bit too much of that hooker on there. So this is cutting a quick set key on the leashy clipper using the clipper keys in order to create a key at the door pretty easily. I will tell you, using the camera is helpful to me uh, because my close-up vision, I do wear bifocals, so it helps me.